Brother Don. Yes. I will marry you. Oh God, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much Sister Rose. I am currently the happiest man on the face of the earth. I think we should go ahead and see the pastor next Sunday after service and inform him about this new development. Yes Sister Rose, that's exactly what I was about to suggest to you. Let's do that. Brother, I have to leave now. I have an errand to run for my mom this evening. Let us meet on Sunday at pastor's office. Okay Sister Rose, thank you. Have a good day. That night she slept and God spoke to her through a dream. Let us clap our hands for the newest couple in town, Mr. and Mrs. Don Stevens. All glory to God, the newest couple in town. It's 1 a.m., where is this man at this hour? A husband is not yet home. What cold have they happened to him? I have tried calling his cell phone but I can't reach him. What could have happened to him? Oh God, please protect my husband. Please, please, let nothing happen to him. Let me try calling him again. Is everything why okay really? I hope he is not in any kind of danger oh God. Are you okay? You smell alcohol. Don, do you take alcohol? Drunk. Woo woo woo. I had a good time today. Woo 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 woo. Don, are you an alcoholic? Answer me now. Woo woo woman, woman, don't tell me nonsense. I am very tired today and super drunk. Let me rest please okay. What? This man actually takes alcohol. Oh God what have I got myself into? I thought he was a Christian. How can a Christian possibly be an alcoholic? I have messed up, Rose you messed up. Hey, explain to me what happened last night. What was the meaning of the coming home at 2 a.m. and coming home drunk which you did last night? Don, answer me now. I still cannot believe what I saw yesterday with my own eyes. Are you an alcoholic? Madam. What kind of a silly question is that? Do I need to explain anything here really? What you saw is what the reality is so if I were you, I would just look for ways to adjust to my husband's alcoholic nature. Foolish woman, should I also educate you on this? Don, you never told me you club, and an alcoholic when we were courting. Why did you lie to me? Are you even a Christian to begin with? Christian, well yes I am if that is what you want to hear. Just that I am not this kind of an extremist Christian like yourself. I don't believe in living like a prisoner but of course I attend church every Sunday as you have seen. Oh God, how did I get myself yoked in marriage with this kind of man? Rose, I advise you to not lose touch with the reality. Here, right here before you is the reality. The earlier you come to terms with this over here that you married a man like me, the better it would be for you. Because I promise you more surprises are coming for you. Now, don't waste my time asking silly questions. I don't have time to waste. I should get ready and go to office. Please, I have hangover. Prepare for me something for my hangover. Thank you. Isn't that my husband Don with another woman? Oh God, yes, he is the one with another woman. Don, what are you doing with this harlot? You are a married man committing adultery with the prostitute? Babe, who is that woman? Babe, don't mind about that woman. She is my ex-wife who I told is you mentally unstable. Please go and enter the car before she hurts you. She was recently discharged from a psychiatric hospital so she is still violent. Please go to the car, I will follow you shortly. Okay love. Rose are you insane? Why are you embarrassing me? Liz is my long term girlfriend, I knew her before I even married you. Please stop embarrassing yourself and go home. And it might as well interest you that this is another nature of mine, 
I don't commit to one woman, I do not believe in eating only one dish for the rest of my life. So better get used to this too. My life is miserable, I wish I had not married this man. I made a very big mistake by disobeying God's instructions. Useless man, where did you sleep last night? You mean you don't know. I had fun with my pretty miss until now, so I have come to rest. Please if you don't want trouble with me this morning, don't try to cause any chaos. Don, 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 today you must kill me in this marriage, Pipe I'm tired of facing what you are doing to me. You are not only an hypocrite type of Christian, an alcoholic who sleeps in a nightclub, but you are also a serial cheater and womanizer, it's only been less than even six months and you have revealed all your characters. Don who are you exactly? Tell me stupid man, what else should I know about you? This is another character in me, no woman, I mean no woman including my own mum ever shouts on me. I am not going to allow you, a very useless woman to raise your voice at me. You hear me. Don't try it again because I will kill you without a trace. Woman, you don't know me, I am worse than Lucifer. Lord, this man seemed to be nice when he proposed marriage to me. I asked you and you told me to not marry him because he was not your will for my life. I thought I was wiser than you, and in disobedience I still went on and married him. Now look at me. I married a drunkard, a womanizer, a wife batterer. He isn't even a Christian at all. I married a non-believer now my life is over. Lord forgive me and help me. Please forgive me and help me. What should I do now? Oh my God, it was a dream. What a very long dream it was. This dream carries a strong warning from the Lord. This guy Don is not a child of God. He is only masquerading as one. I choose to obey God. I don't want to mess up my life by marrying this man. No. I won't do that. The Lord is the one who knows the end from the beginning, I won't marry him. In fact, I will call him and cancel everything. I will wait on God for his will for my life. Where is my phone? Hello good morning brother Don. I have something to tell you, it might hurt you and I am so sorry about it and embarrassed for saying it. What is it Sister Rosé? The Lord doesn't want this marriage to go on. You are not his will for me, let's cancel every arrangements we made to meet with Pastor John on Sunday. I want to obey the Lord and wait for his will for my life. I am very sorry for putting you through this brother Don. Sister, why the sudden change of mind? Anyway, it's okay. Bye. Man, give me my money, I gave you the service the whole night. Woman, haven't I given you your money already? See, foolish man, I am the best prostitute in all the Jays pub, and I am very experienced and expensive. Do you think I work for fifty dollars? Get serious, I don't want to create drama in this apartment and embarrass you. If you really don't want it as well, give me my full money now, add more fifty dollars. Okay it's sent, now get out of my house this instant. Foolish prostitute. On the Veriside, pressure was mounting on King Saul. The Philistine army were withstand in thousands, meanwhile on the other hand King Saul's men were shaking in fear and as a result of this, they started scattering one by one to go and hide from the Philistines. But God's command was that King Saul should wait for Prophet Samuel to come and offer the sacrifices that would grant the Israelite army favor over their enemies. King Saul waited for Prophet Samuel to come for three days. For three days he never saw Prophet Samuel, and pressure was increasing both within him and from without. The king then seeing everything at stake took the decision to offer the sacrifice by himself even though it wasn't his duty as a king to do that. Immediately he offered the sacrifice. Prophet Samuel appeared and was not happy with him. God was displeased with Samuel because of his inability to wait in the midst of intense pressure. This story is in 1 Samuel 13. 
Brethren, no matter what you are waiting on good for, pressure might be getting mounted on you from every side so that you will take the decision to help God and act by yourself. But I plead with you, don't do it, wait upon God. Many who try to help God always fall miserably with big regrets. Continue to trust the Lord. What I know is he will come through for you and at his appointed time. He has never disappointed anyone who trusts in him. Amen. We have come to the end of this teaching. Please I would like to welcome the people who today is their first time of fellowshipping with us in this chapel. Please you can come forward. You are welcome brother. Please introduce yourself. Praise the Lord Church. I am called Brother Matt Johnsons. I come from up country but God has been directing me to pray here for the time I will be in this city. I am so blessed to fellowship with all of you today. God bless you all. Oh Lord, who is the lady you have prepared to be my wife? It's been years I have been praying. I have waited for long Lord. When are you bringing her my way? Lord, it is taking too long. Matt, Rose is your wife. The woman I have prepared for you my son. Rose. That sister who always sits in front in his grace chapel. Hum, okay, I should get to know her more. Lord, I thank you for this that you have told me. Please I ask for more clarification about this matter from your word Lord. Good morning Pastor John. Good morning Brother Matt. How are you? I am okay. I came to you concerning an important matter Pastor. What is it Brother? Recently as I was praying to God concerning a marital partner. The Holy Spirit was pointing to me a sister in this church. Since I have only spent a few months fellowshipping with this congregation, I know little about her and I wanted to ask you to help pray with me about this matter pastor. Okay, who is this sister? Sister Rose sir. Yes brother, we thank God for that. Sister Rose has been a member of this congregation for several years. She is a good girl. If the Lord's will is that you marry her then I would say his will for you is a good one. She is a serious follower of Christ. I will continue to pray for you also. Along the way when we confirm God's will, you will have to talk to her about it so that she can also pray and God confirms it in her heart. Okay sir, thank you so much. You are welcome, have a good day. Meanwhile you have to inform and in case anything new comes up. Alright, let me take my leave now. Have a good day. Good evening Sister Rose. Good evening Brother Matt. Ha, huh, Sister, there is something I would like to discuss with you concerning something important. When will you be free? Okay, what could that be? I want to know when you are free so that we can meet and talk about it. I will be free next weekend. Okay, help me with your number. I will talk to you again on Saturday and communicate the time and venue of where we can meet from. Okay, shortly. Yes, my friend Sarah. How is your family? We are all fine. I miss you, my sister. I miss you too a lot. By the way, last week I had a dream about you. In that dream you had stayed in a storm in some boat for so long. That storm was a mighty one and the waves were hitting the boat so hard, but after some time, the storm suddenly stopped and you crossed to the other side. That very night I again dreamt that some guy came from somewhere and married you. It was so unexpected and so fast and wow, he was a godly handsome, gentleman. You were so happy, and even had children shortly after marriage. You had such a happy home Rose. Sister Sarah that is just a dream. <laughs> I will wait and see. I am surprised that you are not excited about it. What should I do? Just that I have been in this situation for so long that I don't believe I can ever get out of it, it is now part of me. But if God wants to change the situation, thoughts well. Oh sister of little faith, let me leave you, but I am praying for you. Those two dreams are dreams revealing a season of victory. The battle and the waiting is over, just rejoice. Okay goodbye bestie. Hello sister Rose, you are welcome. Thanks for honoring my request to come here today. Thank you. How are you? I am okay. How are you? I am also fine. What would you like to eat? I will eat what is available. Okay. All right, sister. I called you here today because God has told me you are my wife. I know it's surprising, but I have had this conviction for some time now. So after praying for a long time alongside Pastor John, 
we decided that I would tell you this today so that you can also pray about it and have your confirmation from God too. <laughs> yeah. But are you sure about your conviction? Because I have a gynecological condition that might cause difficulty in conceiving in the future. Has God told you that too? Sister, I am a man of faith. I believe that God's will for me is the most perfect. Besides, God is the one that gives children, his power is beyond gynecological conditions. Since he has sent me to you, he will sort out everything I strongly believe that. Okay, please brother, give me some time and I will inquire of God concerning this matter and get back to you. Definitely sister. My father and my God, I want to thank you for what you have done in my life today. Thank you for loving me and being so good to me. Lord, I have come to inquire about what transpired today with Brother Matt. Is he your will for me? I don't want to mess up my life at this junction of marriage. Holy Spirit, when are you giving me an answer? Yes Rose, Matt is your husband. Please Lord, reveal it to me in your word Lord, I don't want to be confused. Confirm it with your scripture Lord. Rose became sure that Matt was God's will for her life and they married after a few months. God gave them a wonderful Christian home and Rose became pregnant within the first six months of her marriage contrary to her fears. Her home. Sweetheart, it is time to pray. Okay let's pray. Lord our God we bless you for this wonderful home that you have given us. We know that we are not in this marriage for ourselves but for your glory. Lord, we are asking you to prepare us for thy great purpose which you have for this marriage. Let this marriage raise a godly seed for thy glory and let it exist to fulfill thy purpose upon the earth. Lord we thank you so much. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Brethren, whatever thing you are waiting on God for, keep the faith, don't lose it. Don't try to act by yourself and sin against God. Wait upon the Lord and he shall surely come through for you. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry Habakkuk 2, 3, 5.